Marilee Fiebig, the estranged wife of suspended GMA3 host TJ, Hose has expressed her disappointment at the way he has flaunted his affair with his co-host and lover Amy Robach. Speaking through her divorce lawyer exclusively on DailyMail.com, she hit out at Holmes's lack of discretion, respect and sensitivity as their 12-year marriage publicly crumbled. She also slammed him for not focusing and abandoning their 9-year-old daughter in the midst of his affair. Her attorney, Stephanie Lehman, said, During the holiday season and in light of the challenging times, Marilee's sole focus has remained on the overall best interest of her 9-year-old daughter. Lehman continued, To that end, TJ, S. Lawyer and I have been working together to move their divorce forward privately, expeditiously and as amicably as possible. Marilee also thanked all who supported her and claimed she was touched by the outpouring of support and that she looks forward to a new beginning in this new year. DailyMail.com exposed Holmes' affair with Robach in late November with a series of pictures showing them enjoying flirty post-filming sessions and even on a weekend away in a secluded cottage in upstate New York. Once the secret was out, the two made little attempt to hide and last week they were pictured locking lips while they were on a midwinter break in Miami. Both Holmes and Robach have families that their cheating scandal has affected and it also affected their work since they have been suspended from their roles hosting GMA3, ABC's lunchtime extension of Good Morning America. Holmes and Phoebe met in 2009 and married in Memphis in March of 2010. The couple were then blessed with a daughter, Sabine, in January of 2013. The couple have been married for 12 years as have Robach and her husband, former Melrose Place actor Andrew Hsu. Sources have claimed that Holmes and Robach crossed the line from close friends and co-stars to lovers last June while covering the Queen's Jubilee in London. It seems like the spouses of both cheating couples found out about the romance because both couples had already split up in August before the affair was found out and publicized. Until now, both Phoebe and Shu have kept mum about the affair that destroyed their marriages. It was reported that Holmes filed for divorce last week, but as of Friday there were no filings listed in New York's Supreme Court. After the couple were both suspended from their co-anchor positions, they seem to have been keeping their distance in public. While they were spotted visiting their respective apartments, there was no sign of PDA and less images about them were floating around. Something changed as the holiday approached, maybe they just gave up on the consequences of their actions and decided to just live with them or maybe it was the holiday air. But the two became more open with their relationship. Just days before Christmas, Holmes and Robux seemed unable to keep away from each other as they enjoyed a low-key lunch at the Capitol Grill near Holmes' apartment in New York's financial district, seeming cozy and unbothered. Later, TJ was seen with his arm around Amy, keeping her close, when they were spotted at the Atlanta airport. Amy could be seen leaning into her co-host against a pier railing where they kissed and then, Hand in hand headed to a seaside restaurant for lunch and drinks where Robach rubbed Holmes's leg, laughing and kissing the entire time. They seemed calm and so in love even though both had to destroy their own marriages to be together. To Marilee, TJ's soon-to-be ex-wife, the couple's affair seems like a huge betrayal from two people she dearly loved. Marilee once considered Amy a close, trusted friend and part of her sisterhood. She once even expressed her affection for Amy in an Instagram post, giving her a shout-out as part of her female village and praise for her love and support and for lending me her amazing daughters to babysit for Sabine when she had daycare issues. Sources claim that whilst TJ has filed for divorce recently, Amy and her estranged husband Shu are currently in divorce mediation. After T, J and Amy's romance was revealed, Shu's son, Nate shared a rather somber family portrait without his stepmom Amy Robach. Marilee expressed her support to the family by liking the post. The snap was captioned Riders on the Storm. On to 23, with the photo featuring Nate, 26, with his Melrose Place star dad as well as half-brothers Aiden and Wyatt, as they sat together on an outdoor sofa. Over the 12 years that T, Jay and Marilyn have been married, he has not been hesitant to express his love and admiration for her. He even wrote about his marriage in a letter for TheRoot.com in March 2014. In all I do, I have a partner looking out for me, advising me, keeping me on track and stopping me from making a mistake. No matter how great or small, he continued, my family and I are closer, my individual net worth has gone up every year since we met. I've learned a second language, I'm healthier, I use the N-word less, I listen to Sunday church service more, I'm a better friend, I'm more forgiving than I used to be, I'm more involved in charitable work. In every way, I'm better off because I'm married. So, for me, a successful marriage has revolved around this principle, I like who I am with her. The letter, beautiful in every way, actually hit the fact that he was what the internet calls a womanizer. In honor of their 10th anniversary, TJ posted another tribute to his wife, but that was after his three-year affair with GMA producer Natasha Singh came to light. It's pretty sad that he keeps targeting his workmates and wife's friends. Natasha Singh also counted his current lover as one of her close friends. 
Holmes managed to save his own marriage after this affair, but after he had calmed the waters in his home, he wrote a gushing 10th anniversary Instagram tribute to his wife. This particular hashtag decade challenge is a little late, but 0 .10 years ago, Marilee Fiebig married me, and despite my best efforts, she remained married to me the past 10 years. That's not hyperbole, I'm not being dramatic. I gave her plenty of reasons, excuses, and opportunities to walk her fine out the door. But instead, with her built-in black woman superpower, she showed a grace and patience that's incomprehensible. It seems like she forgave him that time and continued her marriage having renewed her faith in her husband only for him to have yet another affair right under her nose and then end up being the one requesting for a divorce. Back in November, before the relationship was revealed, TJ wrote an ominous post on his Instagram subtly hinting on his breakup with his wife. End the relationship and cry once. It's better than being with them and crying daily. Holmes wrote at the time, adding that it was his quote of the week with a crying face emoji. When news first broke of the co-host's affair, Robach and Holmes seemed determined to brazen it out, with TJ sparking disbelief by appearing alongside Robach and making light of the scandal after their relationship became public. Then on Friday, December 2nd, he joked that it had been a great week and that he wished it would just keep going. The two then went ahead and claimed that they were openly dating and spoke about growing their relationship. Sources claim that while the two had accepted the fate of their marriages, they don't want to jeopardize their futures with the network any more than they already have. The network has yet to make its final decision on what to do with the two and so their employment at ABC still hangs in the air. They were both suspended indefinitely following the revelation that their well-publicized friendship and on-screen chemistry had crossed the line and now they are together in love but jobless. Marilee believes TJ should have thought of their daughter, his daughter, before flaunting around with his new girlfriend amid all the rumors surrounding him. She claims the both of them should be responsible for their child even as they eventually start leading different lives after the divorce. A fan on Twitter said, I can't imagine how his daughter feels knowing her father would rather spend time with his mistress than with her for the holiday. What a piece of ish hashtag TJ Holmes hashtag GM of three. Another said, this story is still so funny to me. They are both serial cheaters, so realistically how could they trust each other? Unless this is an open relationship, I don't get it. The inevitable is obvious. Anyways, more videos about the couple can be found on our channels. Thanks for watching. Bye.